Today we're going to be working on order of operation. And the first method that we're going to show will be the left to right method. Now there are two groups of operations that fall under the left to right method. And that is addition and subtraction and multiplication and division. If you only have addition and subtraction in your equation, you can perform left to right method, as well as if you only have multiplication and division in your equation. So for example, number one, I have 2 plus 3 minus 5 plus 6 plus 7 minus 20. The operations that I have in problem number one is only addition and subtraction. Therefore, left to right method will be possible. So to uh, simplify 2 plus 3 minus 5 plus 6 plus 7 minus 20, I'm going to add 2 and 3, which gives me 5, and then go to the next numbers as their operation changes, and then simplify your answer. So you have 2 plus 3, which gives you 5, bring down negative 5, and 5 minus 5 will give you 0, bring down 6, and 0 plus 6 is 6, 6 plus 7 is 13, and 13 minus 20 will give you negative 7. And this is true because in addition and subtraction, left to right method will be correct method in the use of the order of operation. Now, for example, number 2, for multiplication and division, if you will notice, I only have division and multiplication in my problem. So if I have 25 divided by 5 times 9 divided by 15 times 3, I don't need to think about PEMDAS. All I need to do is to perform my operation from left to right. So if I have 25 divided by 5, it gives me 5 times 9 is 45 divided by 15 is equal to 3 and multiply it with 3 will give you 9. And once again, this method only works if in your problem you only have plus and minus or division or and multiplication. Now for the next set of examples that I have, the left to right method will no longer work. And the reason that left to right method is no longer useful is because we have several operations in one problem. So in this case, we will use the very famous acronym PEMDAS, parentheses, exponent, multiplication or division, and addition or subtraction. So we will work with the operations inside the parentheses first and then exponent and so on. So for example, number one, I have 20 minus 4 times 3 plus 4. I have three operations in this example, which is subtraction, multiplication, and addition. So I need to work on my multiplication before I can add and subtract. So in this case, I need to multiply negative 4 and 3, which gives me negative 12. And since I did not perform any operations for 20 and 4. I'm just going to copy it here in my second step so you can see how I'm going to use my order of operation here. So now in my second step, you will notice that I only have minus and plus in my operation. So therefore, the left to right method will be used on this particular step. So 20 minus 12 will give me 8 and 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. So 20 minus 4 times 3 plus 4 is equal to 12. Now, once again, if you work this problem out by 20 minus 4 and then multiply it by 3 and then add it to 4, your answer will be wrong. So make sure that you are using the correct order of operation for you to get 12 as your answer. Now, for number 2, we have 30 divided by 15 plus 2 times 4 minus 3. Now, for this example, we have division, addition, multiplication, and subtraction. So, therefore, we will use the order of operation PEMDAS. So, the first two operations that I'm going to use or evaluate will be my division and multiplication. So, I'm going to divide 30, 30 and 15, which gives me 2, and 2 times 4, which gives me 8. And since I did not do anything with negative 3 or minus 3, I'm just going to co copy minus 3 here and the operation here which is plus. Now on my second step, I can use left to right method since it's just plus or minus. So 2 plus 8 which will give me 10, 10 minus 3 will give me 7. And once again, don't 
use the left to right method for number two because it's not going to work and your answer will not be seven. Let's have more example of our order of operation that uses PEMDAS. For the third example, I have the square of 2 squared plus 1 plus 100 divided by 5 plus 3. So I'm going to simplify the operations inside my parentheses, and I have two parentheses, so I can work them out simultaneously. So here I'm going to simplify 2 squared, so I'll have 2 squared, which gives me 4, and I will simplify 100 divided by 5, which gives me 20. And then I'm just going to copy the rest of the problems that I did not simplify and that will give me 4 plus 1 squared plus 20 plus 3. So once again you're not going to be able to use the left to right method yet because we have several operations on the second step. So we need to work out our operations inside the parentheses. So 4 plus 1 is 5 and 20 plus 3 is 23. Now I need to simplify my exponent 5 squared which means 5 times 5 is 25 plus 23, which gives me 48. And that's how we work out this particular problem, which uses the order of operation to get 48 as your answer. And for my example number four, I have three cubed minus seven plus the quantity of two times three. So I'm going to evaluate my exponent in my parentheses. So three cubed, which is three times three, which is nine. Nine times three is 27. And two times three, which gives me six, bring down negative seven in their operation for addition. And now you can work out your left to right method. So 27 minus seven plus six will give you 20 plus six equal to 26.